ever wondered what regulate our genes? Get ready to dive into the world of microRNAs or miRNAs, small but mighty regulators of our genetic code. These tiny RNA molecules, measuring typically 23 nucleotides in length, regulate at least half of all protein coding genes. More than 1000 different microRNAs or miRNAs are produced from human genome. Once created, miRNAs pair with specific mRNAs to fine-tune their translation and stability. The synthesis of miRNA begins when RNA polymerase II synthesizes miRNA precursors. The precursor miRNA through complementary base pairing between one part of its sequence and another forms a double-stranded structure. This RNA is cropped inside the nucleus and then exported to the cytosol where it is further cleaved or diced by the dicer enzyme to form the miRNA proper. After this, the miRNA assembled with a set of proteins to form an RNA-induced silencing complex or RISC. The argonaut protein, a part of RISC, cleaves and discards one strand of miRNA. The RISC seeks out its target mRNAs by searching for complementary nucleotide sequences. This search is greatly facilitated by argonaut protein, which holds the 5' region of the miRNA so that it is optimally positioned for base pairing to another RNA molecule. In animals, the base pairing is usually around 7 nucleotide pairs, often in the 3' UTR of the mRNA. If the pairing is extensive as commonly seen in plants, the target mRNA is cleaved by argonaut, leading to its degradation. A single miRNA can destroy many complementary mRNAs, acting as a guide for destructive nucleus. When pairing is less extensive, usually in case of mammals, argonaut does not slice the mRNA. Rather, translation of mRNA is repressed by the recruitment of D-adenylase enzyme which shorten the poly A tail. Other proteins are also recruited which block access of the mRNA to the proteins needed to translate it. These mRNAs may be sequestered in P bodies for degradation or later release. MIRNAs regulate sets of different mRNAs, often controlling hundreds of them. Combinatorial control by mRNAs allows for complex regulation of gene expression. Multiple mRNAs can bind cooperatively to target mRNAs through a scaffold protein. MIRNAs are small and occupy little genomic space, which is why they are discovered recently. But, from guiding distractive nuclei to repressing mRNA translation, their influence is vast.